What up everybody? If you're in the market for an affordable all-arounder prime, you want to check Samyang 35mm 1.8. Let's start with the review and see what this lens can do. The price is around $379, the aperture range is from 1.8 to 22. Linear STM autofocus motor works awesome with Sony focusing systems for quick and quiet autofocus control. A 9-blade diaphragm gives you a smooth and pleasing bokeh. And as a cherry on the top, it's weather sealed and weighs only 210 grams. This lens is made from plastic with a nice orange ring that looks good on Sony cameras. It is very lightweight and portable. It doesn't have a high-end feeling to it, but for that price this is completely okay. One of the reasons I bought this lens is a switch between focus and aperture control. Every time you use aperture priority, this comes extremely handy because you get fast aperture control with a ring. Usually this can be seen only in high-end, very expensive Sony lenses. It's time to test it outside, so let's grab a camera and see how it works on street and at night. First things first. Let's get into the car. Oh, thank you. It's a little bit cloudy and windy today, but we're gonna drive to Helsinki and see what's up. And we are in Helsinki. It's a little bit cloudy today. It's morning, so not too many people. And I'm gonna turn my camera on. So I'm gonna use aperture priority. And I put this mode two, which means that with ring I can manipulate aperture. It's also a little bit windy, so forgive me if the sound is not perfect. <clears throat> and this is my first time outside with this lens. I actually never used 35mm for street photography, but let's see how that goes. Ah, this bike is interesting. say I really enjoy this focal land. Why didn't I get something before this 35 mil? <laughs> God knows. This area over here is called Kampi and it's pretty much the center of Helsinki. This over here is Kampi Center which is a shopping mall and big hub for public transportation. I hope you will see that, but you see over here it says Vault. This is my workplace. Is there something interesting? Let's see. More bikes. <laughs> Maybe this person. But they have construction, we're going there now. But still, maybe I can get something over here. Let's move aperture to 22. Hoppala, I pressed the wrong button. I really enjoy how fast this lens is. I have like zoom lenses from Sigma and when I take a picture it feels like they're taking like a quick second to um, like save image to memory card but this is so much faster I don't know why. I 
hope they will not mind me taking pictures. Maybe too close. Ah, again, my nose is dripping great. Let's go to Audi. This is a public library that's brand new. It was opened, I think, like last year or something like that. exciting photo but it's gonna be good oh, maybe like a fun photo of architecture it's not working well that was a missed opportunity I have a manual focus point like flexible one because I want to have full control where the focus lays and then when I press this middle one to center it sometimes it doesn't work because you need to press hard or whatever let's try to take one picture with nice bokeh of this car Centered, but we can always set it that a little bit, right? One thing I don't like about this lens is this ring is so sensitive, so it often happens that I nudge it a little bit so aperture changes. But what can you do? Be more careful. And I also wanted to test some portrait shots with this lens, so I ad hoc came to my friend to be my model for today. So we're we gonna try that. Oh my god, gloves. Let's do one funny portrait over here. Settings are correct, everything is nice. Maybe we can change creative style to portrait. Oh, sun is over here, maybe like a little bit. Actually, let me stand behind the sun, but then it's like ugly. Ah, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Your shadow is going over your face. So try to come here. Okay, stop, look at me. A little bit better. Excellent. I really need to come close with this lens. <laughs> Buck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. One picture for me, please take a picture for me. <laughs> Did I aim correct? It might look better on the other side. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Look, more doggos. More doggos. Ah, look. What is that? A bird. Yeah, but what bird? I don't know. Maybe bird is like. Photos of me! Is that some sort of... No, it's not a dock. Let's see how sharp this lens is. This bird was flying, so... Oh, so cute, look! What? The bird. This is fun. Stand uh, somewhere on the edge. Do you throw myself over? No, don't throw yourself. Yo! Oh. It's like all in the shadow, but like stop. 
because uh, no 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 just position yourself somewhere let me try from another angle it's shadow so it's not like so terrific because uh, sky is blown out but whatever it's a uh, focus <laughs> camera thinks your ear is your eye <laughs> we already saw that autofocus in taking pictures is amazing with Samyang but now let's see how it performs in video I have my camera set on wide um, autofocus mode and let's see I'm going slowly if we can catch my face let's go a little bit faster That's it, let's see on zone if it performs the same way. I set my camera to zone focusing mode and now I'm gonna quickly approach camera and see if it catches my face. And there it is, autofocus in a video. So when should you consider this lens? This is a lightweight lens, so it's great for everyday shooting. Fits nicely in any bag. Sometimes I miss the shot because I don't feel like taking my camera out of the bag. However, this lens is so tiny that it's easy to hook it on your bag and carry it around without a worry. Focal length is great for talking head YouTube videos and since it's so light it's an excellent choice for the gimbal. If you like this review consider subscribing, the button is somewhere down there and hitting thumbs up, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions put them in comments. Until next time, ciao ski!